Hey, what's going on guys, Rana here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can create a free WordPress website. And if you are already subscribed to this channel, you may see my previous videos where I show you guys how you can create a free WordPress website. But this time there would be a different approach to install WordPress website because we are going to install WordPress script manually. So guys, uh, make sure you watch this video till the end. Do not skip any single step in this video in order to create a successful WordPress website for free. So before I move into this video, I just want to let you know that uh, if you do not know anything about coding skills or any kind of technical skills and you are a simple guy, then you still create a WordPress website by watching this video. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. So enough talking, let's jump straight into the video and I'm gonna show you guys how you can create your own WordPress website. So let's get started. All right guys, now let's get started and now let me show you guys how you can create a free WordPress website. So in order to create a free WordPress website, we need to obtain two things first. One is a domain name and second is a hosting. Domain name is your website name like www.yourdomainname.com or for example uh, www.amazon.com, google.com. These are the domain names. And hosting is a place where your website files store, okay? As this video title says, we will create a free website with WordPress and we need a free hosting and free domain. So first, let's get a free domain. Perform a Google search for free norm and open up the first website in a new tab, freenom.com. So in this website, you have to sign in or sign up. So I'm gonna click on sign in. So guys, you can sign in with social icons like Google or uh, Facebook, but I'm going to sign in with my existing email because I already have an account with this website. So I'm gonna sign in with my existing account so once you log in, click on this drop down button alongside services and then click on registrate new domain. So on this page, you have to type your domain name. So I'm going to type ranasing12, you can type anything you want. Click on check availability. So as you can see that we have five free domain name. And if you scroll down, you can get a paid domain as well. But you have to pay for that. But in this video, we are going to get a free domain name. So I'm going to get a one of them by clicking on get it now. And now click on checkout right here. On this page, change the time period to 12 month free. Now click on use DNS and then click on use your own DNS. So here we have to type the name server of web hosting provider leave this space as it is we will come back here and we will type a name server of free web hosting provider and then we will proceed further let's copy the domain name first and let's go back to the search result of google and perform another google search for free wa w h a and open up the first website freewebhostingarea.com so on this website, you can see that you can use a subdomain if you want to use their hosting. If you already have a domain, in which case we have a domain name, we can type a domain name over here in this field, www.ranasing12.ml. This is my domain name. And before I proceed, I'm gonna copy the name server these are the name server of this web hosting copy these let's go back to free now and paste your name server over here and over here the thing is we have to delete the one from here and type two and now click on continue and now check this box i read and agree to terms and condition and then click on complete order so as you can see that order has confirmed successfully so guys if you're having trouble placing an order on freenom.com in the end of this video i'll give you a few tips so that you can place an order successfully on this website anyways for now let's click on this button so guys our work is done over here i'm gonna close this tab and let's click on proceed 
So guys, in this page, type your email address, type your password and retype your password and check this box. I've read the service agreement and agree to its terms. Click on create. So guys, once you do that, you will land on this page. Here you can see that you got your username and you will got your password over here. So let me go to my C panel or you can go to your member area by open up this link in a new tab paste your username over here and then click on go to control panel type your username again and type your password here click on login so as you can see that we are inside the member area so now we need to install a wordpress so guys wordpress require two things we need to create a, a database and next we need to activate the PHP so let's click on create a database so database has been created successfully as you can see that now click on main menu so now click on activate PHP so WordPress that we are going to install that WordPress requires the latest version of PHP so I'm gonna select the PHP 7.3 which is latest or newest version of PHP and I'm gonna click on change PHP version so I'm going to click on main menu. So guys, now we need to download WordPress script. So let's open up a new tab and uh, I'm going to perform another Google search. I'm going to type WordPress download. Now click on the first link from the result WordPress.org and click on download WordPress 5.3. This is the latest version of WordPress for this time. I already have downloaded the WordPress. So I'm going to close this one and this tab. So now we are going to upload WordPress by FTP client. So let's go to google.com and perform a Google search for FileZilla, which is a FTP client. Open up the first website. So guys, here you have to download the FileZilla client. This is a FTP client, which help us to upload WordPress on this web hosting server. Okay, so I'm gonna open my FileZilla so guys this is a filezilla here i need a ftp information in order to log in let's go back to this control panel so here you can see that i have the information of ftp this is my host name i'm gonna copy it and this is my username which is the same and password equal with your account password i'm gonna paste the host name and i'm gonna paste my username over here which is the same and i'm gonna type my password over here and then click on quick connect click ok so as you can see that i have successfully logged into my server now i need to upload a wordpress so let's go to the download folder so guys this is my download folder and i have wordpress 5.3.zip this is a zip file and you need to unzip this file you can unzip this file with any file extraction software so i have winrar and i'm gonna right click on it and i'm gonna click on extract file so once i do that i have another folder uh, wordpress let's open it up inside this folder i have so many files but before i drag and drop these files into my server i need to make some changes on this wp config file first of all i have to rename this i'm gonna type wp dash config and i'm gonna delete the dash and i'm gonna delete the sample and i'm gonna delete the dash and i'm gonna delete the sample so now my file name is wp-config.php now let's open up this file with notepad let's open it up so guys here we have to change mysql database name and mysql database username so where is our database name and username well let's go back to control panel and now let's go to manage database now scroll down you can see that we have the database name and database username which is the same now let's go back now let's open up the uh, notepad file and change your database name like this select highlight it paste highlight this one and paste and now we have to change the password as well password is the same as your account password i'm going to change my password and now click on save file save and close this one 
once you do that now we are ready to upload our entire wordpress files into our server highlight all the files drag and drop into our web server like this so guys now if you will get this pop-up message now you have to select the override from the first option and now click on the always use this action click ok and now our uploading is a start so guys it will take some time because it is almost 2000 files so i'm gonna speed this video up so guys i'll come back once it's done two hours later all right guys now you can see that we have successfully uploaded wordpress into our web hosting server now it's time to move further let's open up a new tab and now here you have to type your domain name so i'm gonna paste my domain name over here and i'm gonna click on paste and go it will take me to this installation page of wordpress here you can type your website title type your username and type your password and type your email address and then click on install wordpress and now click on login type your username that we just created your password and click on login there you go guys so as you can see we have successfully installed wordpress with our custom domain name so guys you can use .com domain .in domain any custom domain that you already have let's visit our site so guys this is your wordpress website looks like by default you can customize your wordpress website further if you want to know how to customize your website then you can watch my other video you can find that video link in the description box of this video or you can uh, check out the cart right here okay so in the beginning uh, we talked about that some of you having trouble uh, listing a domain name on freenom.com uh, let me give you a few simple tips that help you to register a domain on uh, freenom.com first uh, you have to edit your account detail uh, click on edit account detail in this page make sure you fill out most of the thing that is required first thing is address city uh, state zip code country and uh, fill out entire details over here and then uh, click on save changes once you do that then try to register your domain name on this website if you successfully uh, register your domain name after this attempt then you are good to go if you still not getting register your domain name on this website then i recommend you to clear your web browser cache and uh, i hope uh, you will get your domain name register successfully on this website so that's the pretty much it and that's the end of this video guys if you like this video and if you learned something from this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you are new here that being said goodbye and i'll catch you guys next time